Hello, the Titanium Fox here, and today I'll be teaching you how to play PS3 games without a PS3. Now, here are the three links or four links you would be needing in order to run PS3 games. Obviously, you will need an emulator. You would want to follow this guide of No Pay Station. It's a really good guide of how to play PS3 games and how to get them on your PC. And then we have the actual No Pay Station. And of course, you would want the firmware of your PlayStation 3. I will keep all these links down in the description and we will keep this uh, quite simple. So, um, in order to, um, once you get all your files fully downloaded, you would want to extract your, your emulator first, and then you would want to extract your package zip. Once you've done that, please go ahead and create a new folder and create it no pay station. You can name it as whatever you want, but make sure it's you know that it's the folder to access no pay station. Grab your NSP browser and throw it into the no pay station, and also grab your package zip and throw it into as well into the no pay station as well. After that's done, you would um you would want to go ahead and launch the NSP browser. You're gonna notice that everything is blank. This is where you can use the no pay station guide to help you out with that. As you see, there's a bunch of things that you have to copy and paste here. So we will go ahead and copy and paste everything from here. Now for step eight, you can see that it's saying to download and unpack um, DIR. Um, you would want to choose a location of exactly where you want to be extracted. I like to put it on my desktop immediately, so it's just there right away. I don't have to worry about going and, you know, crazy finding for it and anything like that. And then you also want to launch your package zip file as well into the application. As you can see, it wants the any package deck tool. You would want to launch that exe. Now, for over here in the bottom, you don't have to touch these, but you would have to touch these three bars down here and make sure you go ahead and copy and paste that as well. Once everything has been completed and fully copied and pasted, everything seems to look correct to you. Go ahead and click on the X button and you will notice that um, things will start to load. And as you can see, there's things that say Vita, US, and yes, these are all the games that you can basically download and play as an emulator. Um, I haven't tried other consoles, so if you do download, please download with your own risk. Um, I don't know what the other consoles do. I don't know what the other uh, emulators are for those other consoles. But today we'll be focusing on the PS3. So um, you wanna head over here and uncheck everything. It does get a little slow, so please be aware of that. It does lag like a little bit massively. I don't know why, but I guess it's because of all these games. And obviously you would like to uncheck everything and go for PS3. Um, for this one, um, pick whatever um, you know region you're in. I'm in the US, so I'm gonna choose US. You go basically you have all the ps3 games that your heart desires as long as dlcs and um, with dlc um as long with dlcs as well so in order to get the game i already have a little bit planet 2 so i don't need i don't need it so we can get a little bit planet 3 if we need to back here again once everything is downloaded you're gonna notice two new folders is with you packages 
and EX data. Grab your packages folder and grab your EX data and open both of them. Now grab the wrap file and throw it into the package folder. You would want to do this because the wrap file is the verification of the package file. If there is no wrap file for that package file, the game will not run. Also, mind you as well, the game needs to be a package file. You can get away with ISO files, I've heard from some people, but I've noticed with my graphics card, a 2070 Super, Turing, Turing graphics cards do not really run ISO as well. So you want to keep it as to a package and make sure you have that wrap file done as well. So once you have both of them together, you can get rid of the EX file. It doesn't matter. But what would you like what you would like to do is open your PS3 emulator, run it, and um, it would um, this is a brand clean copy of PS3, so if you want to update it you can. I already have a PS3 emulator, so I don't I don't need to do this. I'm just doing this for the tutorial sake, of course. Um, just go ahead and hit file and install packages and wraps. Downloads, head over to packages, and down, uh, down, uh, get your little package. Let that load to download. I assume that's done downloading. Um, looks like it's in game, so it looks like it's probably might not run. I'm not quite sure. But um, always check the compatibility of RPSX3. Um, I said X. No, it's RPC S3. Um, to see the compatibility of the game to see if it's uh, you know good or not. But um, go over here, files, install wrap, and you want to install the wrap file to verify the game to know that it's a truthful game. All right. Once the wrap is done downloaded, you notice that you still won't be able to play the game because there's no OS. OS. This is where the pub file can come in. So you want to go ahead and click on file and install the firmware. For me, I have it on the desktop, so it is actually over here, and you want to name it as a pub file so it can see it. Um, this is the 3D. Uh, this is the PS3 pub file, and it will install the firmware as well with it. Once the installation is done. It does this as well. It starts loading and put all the software in and stuff like that. But um, once this is all done, you'll be able to run your PS3 games without a PS3. Congratulations! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys, uh, if it helped you guys, please leave a like, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. The Titanium Fox is.